Hi, I'm Nancy Luna, the Fast Food Maven blogger for the Orange County Register. I'm here with... Paul Hodgins, all right, booze on a budget for Fast Food Maven. We're here at Angel Stadium to kick off the new season. You think there's a new lineup in the field where we got a new lineup of foods inside the concessions. We have everything from tacos, burgers, nachos to microbrew beers. So let's go inside and take a look. hot corner down the third base line. Uh, this is where Ruby's Diner used to be in section 207, named the hot corner because it's on the hot corner at third base. But anyways, what you can get here at the hot corner is a lot of new foods. Chef uh, Rick Wyman of the Angels has developed a twist on the hot dog. He's wrapped it in a crispy flour tortilla. You can get it with guacamole sauce on top and shredded lettuce, or you can get it with the chili dog style. You can also get the new Angus burger here. So far, Nancy, we're 0 for 2 on the food, so let's move on. I'm getting hungry. We're here at the Corona Beach stand. This is the third stand we hit tonight, and finally it's open. So we, we're trying here the new street tacos, Baja-inspired with a char salsa, cilantro and onions, chicken and beef. So we're going to take a bite. I'm really in love with the char salsa here. I heard they make it fresh in-house. The onions and the jalapenos are a must. Otherwise, not enough to it. That's what I would say. Okay, so I guess we're going to say thumbs up, 20 minute wait. I guess in the scheme of things, not too bad. Corona Beach stand used to be the Major League Dogs out in the outfield. We just hit our fourth stand and our third one that is closed. It's Jack in the Box. This is where Ruby's Diner used to be. So everybody knows Ruby's Diner is now out. Jack in the Box in. But I guess they're going to be opening soonish. They're closed ish now, maybe Friday ish. We don't know. I'm still hungry. That's all I know. Hopefully they'll be here on opening day. Angel Stadium with Chef Rick Weinman, and he's here. Tell us about all the new foods here and where we're at, starting with Chronic. Well, right now we're in Chronic Tacos. We've got a wonderful line of burritos and tacos that we're serving here, tostada bowls, with different kinds of beets and rice, chicken, and uh, a wonderful carnitas that we cook authentic style. Well, we're about ready to take a bite into Nikki Enzo's Pizza. That's five new locations at Angel Stadium for the season. Uh, this is a new Angel Stadium branded uh, pizza place and pepperoni and cheese by the slice. I think mine was sitting in the heat heat lamp a little bit too long. Kids will eat this. this yeah. is, I mean, I think this was developed for the families in mind. They, they, nothing fancy here. You, you realize California Pizza Kitchen is gone, but this is for dad. Yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Firestone, by the way, is an award-winning beer from the Central Coast. It's a great beer. Here with Ben Cook, the owner and master brewer of uh, Hangar 24 from Redlands, California. And we've just been served a couple of beers here, and he's going to explain what they are. We're going to start off with the uh, orange wheat, which is our flagship beer. It's an unfiltered wheat beer. We use about half uh, wheat, half barley. We use 100% uh, locally grown oranges that usually come within about 10 miles from the brewery. The next beer that we have is our uh, Amarillo Pale Ale. The reason it's called Amarillo is it's the prominent hop that we use within the beer. This gives you a really nice, light, airy, uh, hot flavor and aroma. Well, there you have it. Cheers, everybody. I'm going to finish these guys. Cheers. I'm here with uh, Aaron Barkenhagen, the owner and head brewer of uh, Bootleggers Brewery in uh, Fullerton. And we have uh, two fine samples of this product here that we're going to be tasting tonight. Our Old World Hefeweizen is uh, a traditional German-style Hefeweizen has uh, lots of uh, banana aroma to it. All right, let's go on to the the, uh, the other beer. You said it was a pale ale? Yeah, it's our Palomino pale ale. And uh, it's it's got a lot of uh, a lot of aroma to it. We actually use uh, a process called dry hopping where we add the hops directly into the fermenter. And it's just a, a really nice, easy to drink beer. You know, it's great for a hot summer day. Angels News Mob Night, where we ate our way through the ballpark at the Knothole Club. I think we paced ourselves okay. Paul, what do you think? Yeah, we did, partly because a lot of places were closed. Fortunately, we found some places that were openish, and now I'm foolish. Happy opening day. Thanks for following us.